Okay, I'm excited. I found it. I found the Nazi movie. <laughs> this is a uh, home movie. And I just dropped the can on the floor, but that's okay. This is a home movie. It's marked. I don't know if you can read that. Last of European Trip. July and August 1937. They went on another trip to Europe in 1939, right before the war started. And I was looking at the 1939 films, and I knew there was one with the Nazis in it. But it wasn't that one. It was the 37 film. And I found it. Now I have the Nazi movie. And so, yeah, they went on a whole tour of Europe and stuff, And but uh, uh, the last part, they went to Germany. There's, uh, there's a, a shot of a boat going by on a river with a Nazi flag on it. I got a still of that. I'll show it to you right now. There's a shot of some uh, German soldiers marching around the square. I uh, didn't get a still of that, so you won't be seeing that right now. Uh, yeah, and, and, and just, you know, other shots of Germany and stuff. But, but I mean, it's, it's not just Germany, it's Nazi Germany, you know? So, just so I don't lose it again, I marked the uh, thing here. <laughs> so I'll always know that this is the one, because it's got the swastika on it. Okay, films, get inside there. So, I've got it. I'm happy. Uh, in other news, I'm going up to the lake uh, this weekend. I will bring the camera, I will make some videos, and uh, we'll see what happens. Maybe a canoe vlog, maybe not. Um, one other thing I was planning on doing today, perhaps, and since I'm here, might as well do it today. I was going to recommend a few things. Um, I want to recommend a movie. Not the Nazi movie. Because <laughs> you can't see the Nazi movie unless you come over to my house. John, if you want to come over to my house and see the Nazi movie, you can. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, but uh, anyway... Uh, what, mo what the hell am I talking about? Uh, a movie. It's called The Curiosity of Chance. I just watched it the other day and I really liked it. Um, it's about a gay teenager going to an international high school somewhere in Europe sometime in the 80s. And he's like out and stuff and, and the and the big football star doesn't like him and picks on him, but then he makes friends with the other football star, and the other football star kicks the first football star's ass, and and uh, it, it's there's a lot more to it than that, and it's a lot of fun, and it's a good movie, and uh, you should get it from Netflix or something, because that's what I did. Okay, then I was going to recommend a book. The book is called Rash in My Pants. I should probably get that looked at. Now, it's just called Rash, and it's written by Pete Houtman. And uh, it's about, it's a it's sort of a, a future sci-fi sort of thing, uh, written for young adults. Uh, I figure if, if John Green, John Green's older than me, if he can write young adult books, then I can read them, and I don't have to feel weird about it. Ha. Huh. And it's about this this uh, society, uh, the United Safer States of America, where they've taken safety to like the extreme, and and you can't uh, do anything fun, um, and football is illegal. <laughs> um, but then this kid who has anger management issues gets sent to uh, a correctional facility in northern Canada, which is apparently part of the. Uh, part of the U.S. at this point, 
which uh, ugh, I hope that never happens because because if the U.S. gets too bad, I want to move to Canada. But uh, <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, it's a good book, and uh, I recommend it to everybody. You don't have to be a young adult because I'm not anymore. Um, <laughs> If you like John Green's books, uh, you'll like this one. So there you go. Um, and any other books by Pete Houtman, I guess I can recommend. Like, um, I should have planned ahead and had the books here, but I'm down in the basement. These are the these books back here. These are the ones that don't fit in the in the room upstairs. <laughs> anyway. Um, what other book what was I going to talk about? What was I going to mention? Oh, uh, Godless. Uh, won the National Book Award, I think. That was Pete Houtman. That's a good one. Invisible. Um, Hole in the Sky was good. Um, there was the first one about poker. What was that one called? There's two about poker, and there's the first one, and then there was a sequel to it. The sequel is called All In, and I don't remember the name of the first one. But yeah, um, Pete Houtman, he's good. And he's from Minnesota, so gotta like him. Um, anything else I was going to recommend? Harold Lloyd! Hey, let me recommend Harold Lloyd. Um, I have the Harold Lloyd... DVD box set. It's got all kinds of... It's got a lot of his early movies, the one and two reelers, um, and uh, some features, even a few talkies, which is uh, weird. Because I remember I put one in and I was like, okay, I guess I'll watch this movie now. And, and I put it in and, you know, the credits go and the music and then the movie starts and the see this scene and then people start talking and I was like hey <laughs> this is a talkie that's weird so yeah oh um when I say one reeler or two reeler uh, I'm talking about these this is a reel it's um it's about 15 minutes of film so short films in the early days you know they would be 12 to 15 minutes or if they were longer than that then they'd go probably closer to half an hour because a reel is about 15 minutes long and actually it still is but uh, but you don't notice it so much Anyway, I think I've got plenty now to cut together and I hope I can keep the video from being too terribly long and boring so okay um, that's all. Uh, probably see movies, vid videos from the lake uh, on Monday or possibly Tuesday. So, see you later.